Okay, 4010. Let's see what we've got. Let's just attack this pawn. And let's support the pawn. Straightforward. Shall we try something different or no, let's attack the center here. This I think this opening might cause them some problems. We can capture. And we do get the 20 pointer, the king's not castling. And we do get a pawn. So I'm going to grab here. We're also attacking this pawn as well. Potential fork on the king and the rook. Don't mind doubling the pawn, so we might as well go for the rook. And just take the rook off the board. Forget about the knight now, don't try and save it. Unless, of course, they allow us to save it. And the king is in the center. Could x-ray through with the bishop, maybe? Or maybe, shall we look to do x-ray through because the knight's looking to take the pawn here. Once the bishop takes. Uh, so he's moved off the x-ray. We could still attack the knight with, or just take the knight off the board. Just take the knight off the board. And let's, let's castle. And take the bishop. It's not taking the bishop. He's attacking the pawn still again. There's nothing behind the knight, so the knight could move. So we could look just to support the pawn with a pawn. As we know, this bishop's probably going to move because he wants to get the knight off the ball. But we're not going to try and save the knight. Oh, and they've resigned. Okay, so that was pretty quick. A little bit frantic, but from getting that 20 pointer the initial part of that opening seemed to kind of make them lose tempo because the king was a little bit airy and yeah so not bad